Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I've had a couple of questions regarding um, ACX. I put out a video um, not too long ago, you know, maybe about a couple of months ago, about uh, recording and submitting an audition in uh, or for ACX. And ACX, as you may or may not know, is not available in every country. So if you want to narrate audiobooks and you're in a country that doesn't support or you can't use ACX, there are a lot of other different ways where you can narrate audiobooks. One of which uh, I've talked about a few times is LibriVox. And um, that, of course, is there's no there's no pay for recording for LibriVox. It's it's all volunteer work, but it's a great place to start if you want to, you know, get a feel for narrating an audiobook and the editing, the formatting process, or getting to learn your DAW and how to narrate a book, you know, how to control your breaths, when to add some inflection, you know, changing different characters. It's great for that. Now, I'm not saying that LibriVox is a place to go and practice, but that's how I started. I started with getting a really good feel of what I was doing and getting my arms around understanding how to narrate and all the things that go into producing an audiobook through LibriVox. So that's why I recommend it. And um, that is a great place to start. But we'll talk about a few other places where you can offer audiobook narration services. So that's what we're going to get into today. So let's get into it. So one of the places to go for audiobook narration or to offer your services for audiobook narration is, of course, Fiverr. Fiverr is probably, I think, the second uh, freelance marketplace that I signed up on when I started almost three years ago. And this is where I have made the most money. This site has um, contributed largely to my ability to go full time with this and to be able to work from home and to dictate my own hours and to fire my boss, as they say. So Fiverr is a wonderful place to start for voiceover or really anything else. If you are a freelancer and you know how to write copy or to to create, to compose music, to, oh my God, there's online music lessons now. It, go into Fiverr and take a look around. There are a million different ways and not just voiceover, but there's a million different ways that you can offer what you know for a fee, for a service to your clients. It's a great place to start and I highly recommend getting started on Fiverr. You can create a gig to offer your audiobook narration services uh, that way if you can't get into ACX. That is one way. Let's check out another. Another place to get started on, and I think it's the third place that I signed up on, was Upwork. Upwork is a lot like Fiverr in where you post a profile and uh, your portfolio and description of what you do and what you offer, and then clients will reach out to you and um, either uh, propose a contract to start narrating an audiobook or you know, doing voiceover or much like Fiverr, anything else that you, any other skills that you have that you can offer for a fee. Um, there's a lot of companies, especially right now with the coronavirus and everyone being stuck at home and a lot of businesses are remote working. There's a lot more freelancers being hired to perform everyday jobs that, you know, people used to do in-house or Maybe the people that the company had to do this particular thing, they were furloughed or let go, unfortunately, and now they're looking out to freelancers to fill that void. So Upwork and Fiverr are really great places to start to offer your services for audiobook narration, for voiceover, for, you know, if you know how to create a website or to code or to, I mean... There's a million different things that you can offer on Upwork and Fiverr. So Upwork is another great place to start and to create a profile for narrating audiobooks. Let's check out another one. Another website that is very close to Fiverr is Five Squid. And here, much like Fiverr, 
you can uh, create different gigs to offer different services to your clients. And of course, this one is not based in the U.S. Um, a lot of them aren't. But um, this is another great one. I have a profile here on Five Squid as well. Um, the more places where you can create a profile and offer your services, uh, the bigger your net, so to speak. The more places that you are available, the easier it is for a client to find you and the services that you offer. So Five Squid is another one that I recommend that you get into, join up, add a uh, profile, and create different gigs, one of which for audiobook narration. So this is another one to definitely look into and check out and create a profile and a gig for audiobook narration. Let's look at another one. Voices.com is probably one of the larger places to create a profile and to find voiceover work. I personally also have a profile here on Voices.com, although there are, especially again with the coronavirus and um, a lot of the quote-unquote veteran voice actors not being able to get into a studio, they're all having to work from home now, and to source their work through websites like Voices.com. There is a lot of competition on this particular website. And I believe Voices.com has a free option where your profile is visible, but not a whole lot of clients, to be real, a whole lot of clients are probably not going to find you as easily as they would on, say, Fiverr, Upwork, some of the smaller freelance gig marketplaces, whereas Voices.com is more for voiceover. So there is a lot more voice actors, you know, in here to find work for themselves. So the competition here is pretty stiff. Um, I don't I don't think I've ever won a job on Voices.com, but I do have a profile here. I do not pay for the membership. So that is partially probably my own fault because I don't I don't, I don't want to have to pay, you know, $500 or whatever it is to, you know, have a, a high ranking membership to get more eyeballs on my profile. So maybe if I did, maybe I would win more jobs here on voices.com. But this is another website that you can look at and sign up and create a profile for audiobook narration or for voiceover. So let's look at another one. This is another one that's kind of up there with Voices.com. This is Voice123. Um, I have paid for an upgraded membership here just recently, so I haven't seen a whole lot of action yet. But hopefully one of these days I will win some work here. I'm not really trying too hard on Voices123. I'm kind of just putting my feelers out with the membership to see what happens. But I get more invitations now than I did with my free profile that you can also sign up for here on Voices123. But again, this is another website that is voiceover specific. So there is a lot of competition here. Um, I've come close to, I've been shortlisted. I've had clients reach out to me. So I've had a little bit more interaction here with Voices123 than I have with Voices.com. But um, this is another website where you can create a profile for free and um, you know, submit some auditions and um, gather some invitations to submit those auditions. So long story short, this is another great place to sign up and create a profile. So let's look at another one. Guru.com is another freelance marketplace. It's not as big or well known as Fiverr or Upwork per se, but this is another great place to create a profile and, um, you know, Make yourself available for audiobook narration or for voiceover or, again, for if you write copy or if you're a photographer or if you, you know, if you ghost write stories, if you, you know, there's a lot of different services that you can offer here on Guru, much like Fiverr and Upwork. It is not voiceover specific. So as you can see, there's design and art, writing and translation, programming and development. So there is a lot of different options here. It is not voiceover specific, but another great place to create a profile and offer your services for audiobook narration. Let's look at another one. 
Bodalgo is another website that is voiceover specific. So there is a lot more competition here for voiceover talent. But um, I have also signed up for the um, one of the memberships here to get more invitations to audition here. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot from them lately, but um, I don't know if that's just because it's just been flooded with other voiceover talent who have, you know, uh, the bigger memberships than I do. But um, this is another place that you can create a profile for free and, um, you know, solicit your audiobook narration skills. So let's look at another one. This is thevoicerealm.com. This is another voiceover specific website where you can create a profile and um, meet up with clients. However, you do have to audition or submit a demo and be approved to be on their roster. Uh, again, with in light of rec recent events, there have been, I'm sure, a lot of voice actors submitting. I have applied I can't even tell you how many times and I have yet to be accepted onto this roster. I'm just being real with you. It's not that simple. Although one of you watching will probably submit and be accepted right away. But <laughs> if you do, that's great. But I have, uh, I, I think I've submitted a demo. Oh God, maybe six or seven times now. And I have not heard anything back from them. So I don't know if they're just busy or if they're inundated with you know, submissions. I'm not sure what the deal is, but the voice realm is another place where you can find voiceover work. But again, you have to audition or submit a demo and be accepted. Let's check out another one. This is the voice jungle, the, uh, oh, excuse me, voicejungle.com. This is another website where you need to submit a demo and be accepted onto their roster. And again, with current events, and I, I'm sure they are just inundated with submissions. Um, I have submitted a few times and have yet to be accepted. One time I was declined, but that was in the very beginning where my demo was kind of meh. So I get it, but I have since submitted maybe a couple of times to be accepted, and I have yet to hear anything back. So I think that they are probably just super inundated with submissions and I'm hoping at some point that <laughs> they'll see my demo. I might just have to just keep submitting. I don't, maybe I should be that guy and just submit like every day <laughs> until somebody, until somebody reaches out to me, but I don't want to be that guy. But, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. I know somebody who was in the same position as I am a while ago, and he just picked up the phone and called him and said, hey, what the heck, you know, and then they accepted him. So maybe I'll try that. But um, let's check out another one. Voicegiant.com is another voiceover specific website. I'm telling you guys, there's a lot of them out there. And I think there are, I, I keep hearing of other ones popping up that I haven't quite looked into yet. So I'll have to share those when I look into them. But Voice Giant is, <clears throat> is another one where I believe if memory serves, you have to submit a demo and be accepted onto their roster. I don't remember if I have submitted anything with them. I think I have, and I haven't heard anything back. So again, they are inundated, I'm sure, with submissions. So cross your fingers and I'll hear something back from somebody after this video is posted. But uh, this is another place to offer your audiobook narration services. And those are just a handful of websites out there available to you as a voice actor or an audiobook narrator or just a freelancer in general. There are a lot of things that you can do from home if you're if you have been furloughed or you know laid off because of the coronavirus. There's a lot of ways that you can make money from home. Do not despair, do not be discouraged. Do not stick your head in the sand. Take a look around the internet. Take a look around at some of these websites that are available for you to offer your services. There's, you know, Etsy, there's Shopify. There's all these different ways that you can create stuff at home and sell it and make money for yourself, not just with voiceover. But again, like I've said before, if you're great at writing stories, if you're great at 
creating websites, if you know how to code, if you know how to take pictures of products, there's so many different ways that you can offer the skills that you have online to clients who are looking for people that have your skill set. So take a look around online and find something that you can do. Find something that you're good at and do it. Put yourself out there. You never know what you may find. Um, You know, for instance, some of the things that I do outside of voiceover, I resell books. I write books. I, there's a lot of different things, a lot of different ways that you can create income for yourself. So get out there and take a look around and make it happen. So again, there was some of the websites where you can find some voiceover work or audiobook narration work or anything else that you know how to do. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, send me an email. I always love hearing from you guys. You guys have the best questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.